And it doesn't matter if you go over what you've already painted on here. Uh, because it, by the time you get to the end and you add your cool colors, it might completely change how it looks. And what I learned from uh, Betty Franks, she talks about change out your brushes every once in a while. Don't use the same brush for the entire painting. Remember to have some different brushes. Mm, I have one here somewhere. Let's see, here it is. And this is an angle brush. I think it's a cheap one I picked up at uh, Michael's. And you can get some pretty cool shapes with it. So let's go some lines. So mixing up a bit of white. So it's a whitish pink. And just running over some things. Just a corner. Remember the ugly blues that we started off with? They're pretty much covered up now. But they add interest. You can see them peeking through in a few different spots. So flip this baby around. Can we have oh, texture there? So when a bit of paint gets left on and it's raised up, just leave it. It just adds a little bit more texture. And you can see here it has dried. I'll kind of peel it off a little bit, but it still provides a line. So add some white to that. And let's go around this side. No, I have a sprayer here to keep the cat off. He's very curious. Of course, whenever I start trying to shoot a video, if it's not in my studio and there's cats and dogs around, they all start behaving badly. Usually at this time of day, they're all sleeping. Get some nice nice shapes here. And we got a goober on the end there. Get rid of that. All right. So that's uh, interesting so far, so good. Okay, now, now see we've used the same colors basically, but they both look uh, totally different. And you will find that happens. And you don't always have to paint on an actual canvas. Quite often I use uh, watercolor paper. So if you're on a budget, just get some inexpensive uh, mixed media. Mixed media works really good. Paper. Uh, about a hundred. If you can get 140 pound, that's awesome. Works really good. Okay. Uh, Let's try, let's try this one. I haven't used this for a long time. Let's see what it looks like. Just go ahead and do it like a ring, like so. And then you can take a brush, let me see, take this one. And you can kind of you can spread it around if you want, like so. Well, that's kind of a greeny, greeny blue. Huh. All right, well, that's interesting. You can't really tell the color here, marine blue, duh. Okay. Let's see. Let's do this one. 
This one's a more opaque blue. Let's see what it does. And I'm just going to do a half. And I'm not crazy about that either. And if you don't like it, just go and do that. You can take your paper towel and a bit of water. So, just kind of mop it off. And we're leaving a phantom there. Alrighty. Okay, this is very intuitive. It's not pre-planned. So, just go with the flow. Don't worry about stuff, but stay in your warm colors to begin with and let them dry. And let's see, I'm going to spread this around a little bit. I like this color. And I like the way it mixes with the layers over top of the magenta. And then we can take it down the sides. Just Covering up some of the white with this, like so. Yeah, all intuitive means is you're just going with it. Just go for it. Don't even worry about the outcome. We have a tendency to just get stuck because we're afraid of making a mess. And let me tell you, I have made quite the mess of a lot of big campuses in my time and you can always paint over them. It's not a big deal. So don't take yourself serious, just have fun with the process. Okay, so we got this. Now we have a lot of orange on there. Now we need some more of that. Magenta black back. And let's go with a bit of white. I don't like that so much right there, but here we go. I'm just, I didn't clean my brush. So I'm just going over that green blue I put in there. And then we can go over this also. That's a little bit of interest. And orange kind of went everywhere. Now see, we started off with a very bright pink painting and now it's gone to orange. And I have orange on the sides too. So now I'm going to go back in with some more of that pink. Alright, let's let it rest for a little bit. And we'll go back to this one. Well, this one here, let's get the, um, what color is this? Turquoise. We'll just do a little bit this time. I won't go crazy. Let's just do some dots. There we go. And I've just got a wet brush here. Yeah, uh, just kind of spread it around. So I'm just dipping in the paint that I already have on the canvas and just taking it around to different spots. Spread the love. There we go. I really like this side right here. I'll just put a little bit of turquoise there. That's pretty. And this side looks pretty good too. Okay. 
now we just got the front to do and I think I feel like that's a little too much purple so I'm going to mix a bit of white tinge of pink in it and we'll just put some marks right over top of them There we go. So see how the layering makes it more interesting. So I'm just layering right over top of marks we just made with the brush. There we go. And we will, probably will only have a small percentage of those marks left at the end product. All right. Okay, let's see. Orange. Good spot for a circle. Okay, and let's go here. Just put marks down. There, what we got? Turn it sideways, okay. Maybe not. Now this one, it needs some lighter color. Yeah, it's almost dry. I'm going to just lift some of this. I am going to mix a bit of this turquoise with some white. Using the tip of the brush and making just little skinny lines. Let's go here, just little lines here and there. And okay. Leave some on the sides. Okay, turn it right there. those little skinny lines right down the side. Continuation. All right, that one. And then we'll do the same on this side. See? All right, a little bit more white in there. Just doing little dots. Yeah, this. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we need some. Hmm. Back to the uh, angle brush. I'm just going to do this. It's kind of a funny mark. Okay. And you can draw with it too. Well, there you go. And I'm going to just kind of clean it off a little bit. We'll do a little bit of scumbling right here. See how that works. Uh, I'm not crazy about that. Okay. I'm going to lift some of that. There we go. 